Good morning! If we haven't met yet, my name is Daylene, and this is my channel where I talk about cross stitch and a little bit of quilting and a little bit of sewing, crochet, my grandbabies, food. I always talk about food and, of course, what I'm grateful for. So thanks for stopping by. Today is December 9th, and I have Scottish shortbread cookies to share. I made them this morning at 7 a.m. I made two batches, one for us to share. And I put some of those in a tin for Mr. Wright. It's his birthday this week. So I always wrap up a tin of fresh shortbread and he always pretends to be surprised. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what's in this package. And then the other tin I filled with cookies. I've been sitting out on the porch <laughs> with my coat on and this tin of cookies. And then I waited until I heard the garbage man's truck. And then I ran out there on our sidewalk and um, I waved to him before he got to our garbage can. So then he stopped and he waved me over and mm, I gave him some shortbread cookies and he was smiling. So uh, tis the season or I'll at least get great garbage service until Valentine's Day when I give him the next treat. So <laughs> anyway, I have a uh, cappuccino this morning that that fancy dancy machine made cappuccino. So I have cappuccino and shortbread. So come on over. We'll sit out there in the dining room and look at the Christmas tree and have some cookies and cappuccino this morning. So that'll be a good way, good way to start a Monday morning. So, okay, let's talk about that quilt behind me. Uh, that is called a Washington Winter Pines. And, uh, Right after we lived in Europe for about three and a half years, when we came home, uh, we came home to Washington State, and I decided to uh, make this quilt. It is uh, machine pieced and completely hand quilted. Uh, in the border, I quilted um, pine cones and uh, evergreen boughs, and it's uh, one of my favorite quilts. My, I think it's my second favorite quilt. It's, I, I, I love this. I love the colors. I love that it's darker on the bottom and looks like little bit of snow on the top so that's a good thing so oh thanks for joining me today I have a lot of um, things to share and a couple of finishes to share well just one one finish I have a lot of finishes that I mailed away for Christmas packages today the last three huge boxes went I have two more little boxes and and it's a uh, kind of anticlimactic because we, we mail everything away every year and so I'm done I'm done Anyway, okay, let's look at some previous finishes. I, I got some of my Christmas things down, and the Christmas trees are decorated, and the house looks really lovely. So um, I, I snagged these out, out of some of the displays, so I thought I would share with you. This one's called uh, Winter Pines by Little House Needleworks. Uh, it's not showing up super green, but it's, it's uh, green with gold star at the top. I don't really remember when I uh, stitched this. I like it. It's a pretty one. It's, it's, it's a good one. Makes me happy when I, when I get that out for, um, for our decorations. Okay, this one, if you watched me last year, you know what I call this one. I call this one my lightning bug cross stitch. I don't know the name of it. I guess I could try to look it up. I have no idea what the name is. Want to know why I call it lightning bug uh, cross stitch? I was stitching this on an airplane and I was working on the trees and the gentleman next to me said, are you colorblind? And I said, no, I don't think so. Why do you ask? And he said, well, your trees are blue. They're not green. And I said, thank you. I, I never, I really never, I, I want to say something, but I never do. I just said, thank you. So he was a stink bug. And this is to remind me to always be a lightning bug. He, he didn't even have to say anything. Why couldn't he have just said something nice instead of something like a stink bug? Ah, oh, jeepers. Anyway, I like it. I stitched some uh, pearl beads at the top to make it look like snow. And um, even though it's not a true evergreen, I still love this one. That's a, that's a fun one. Why would you be a stink bug when you could be a lightning bug? <sighs> All right, I got my basket of things here. Let's see. Let's start with, oh, this Avery Santa one I made last year. Okay, I made it into a little ornament. And remember, I just sewed two buttons on the back. And then you can just sew, you can just um, put the twine on it so it can either sit in a little bowl or you can hang it on the Christmas tree. Well, there you go. 
<laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. I did it in 2018. Yep. 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 So I have this one hanging on the Christmas tree already. Oh, and I put a little jingle bell right at the end of his stick. That's a cute one. That's a cute one. I like that one. Okay, what do I have next? Ooh, I have the Ginger uh, Brenda Gervais pillow, and I wanted to show you how I did it. Here's the pillow. Here's the filly in the inside. I, I took it out so you could see it. Okay, so here's the piece that I made. Okay, that's what I made. Let me try to hold it still instead of making everyone car sick. And we all love her piece. That pattern is beautiful. I did said some rusty jingle bells. I dyed some rickrack. And then I made a pocket on the back for some um, letters to Santa. That's what this is called, this, this particular pattern. So that's where we can store some letters. But when it came out of the Christmas box, it was just folded in half flat, nice and neat. That's how I keep it. And then I made a pillow form. And so the back of this piece, you just, I just made it into an envelope. So it's, it's open. Can you see that? And then I just put the pillow form inside. And so then magically we have a pillow, but it's stored really nice and it didn't get smooshed. So, and you can straighten it out a little nicer, but then you have the pillow. It's inside inside the pillow or uh, uh, the cross stitch is on top and then I just did the pillow form inside so anyway that's how I store it so it, it doesn't uh, lose its oomph and that way I can just fold it in half and put a piece of tissue paper and uh, keep it nice and neat and tidy and pretty for the next time and each year that I want to bring it out anyway okay so that's a good one I love that one uh, I, I guess I love them all I keep saying that oh I love that one. Ooh, I love that one uh, oh, I have a prairie schooler. I finished that one, this one this year. And this is just on a magnet so that it can be stored flat with all the Christmas things. And then I just put this little piece on the top. So there you go. Mr. Wright's this year. He collects Santas, so I try to make a, a Santa thing for him each year. And he's a good Canadian boy, so... It's, it's a hockey Santa, playing some hockey. I think his team won a, last night or the night before, so he was in a pretty good mood about hockey, so that's a good thing. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, uh, on my Instagram, I put some uh, a picture of some ornaments. I have them all on one tree in the library, and they're called Chrismons, and I bought this pattern for $2.75, so that's how old this is. And I wrote all over this. So obviously I had gone to the library or something and made a copy of the pattern. It only has three colors of floss, DMC. And apparently I paid $26.85 for all of the frames, the gold frames that I bought, 24. Okay, so then I got the little plastic frames and this pattern has 24 patterns. So we have a little manger, we have a dove crown and cross this one's an alpha and omega so I have 24 different ones so I put that on my Instagram page so that you could uh, take a look at those um, all of the ornaments and um, I, I still have the little tiny plastic bags that the that the frames came in and that's what I keep them in um, it's again one of my favorites so, so <laughs> anyway okay those are the those are the older things that I had Okay, let's see. Want to do the drawing? Let's do the drawing. Uh, okay, um, first of all, um, I want to say thank you to everyone for all the kind and considerate comments. They're really lovely. I really appreciate all the congratulations for uh, doing floss tube for a year. So thanks so much. Okay, remember our drawing was for this little pouch with the floss bobbin that I put on there. And the little lace zipper that we all love. We had some floss and ooh, oh yeah, the magnet. Choose gratitude. I love that. And oh hey, how'd this get in there? I live by the Brown and Haley uh, Chocolate Company, so there's a chocolate covered graham cracker. And oh yeah, I have my donation ready for the Salvation Army. 
donating it in your name. Oh, and then the $25 gift certificate for you to choose something from Acorns and Thread, my uh, my local uh, needlework shop, which is about 170 miles away in Portland, Oregon. So I had um, a hun or 202 comments, and then I had, I tried that, uh, I tried the YouTube comment picker. I never did that. I don't think I did that before. Maybe I did by accident. But anyway, okay, so you push, you put um, your address in for your YouTube video and then it does all the choosing and it or I mean you know random mixes it all up and then it picks and it picked cookie stitch so cookie stitch I don't think that's your Christian name but if it is kudos to your mom for coming up with that but cookie stitch is the winner congratulations so if you get a minute could you please send me an email with your physical address and i will pop your winnings into the mail so thanks for playing along i really appreciate it it was really fun i promise to donate the money to the salvation army lickety split and then um i'll tell you how you can get the um, the $25 gift certificate for um, whatever you want to buy at Acorns and Threads. They're really nice gals there. You'll really enjoy it. So congratulations. That's kind of a neat uh, December present to get just, just for you. That's a, that's a good thing. Okay. Um, fully finished objects. All right. Well, I can't show you pretty much 99% of them because they all have gone in the mail for Christmas presents. But I do have one in the middle of all my Christmas uh, stitching and things. I ordered this pattern. All right. It's called Snow Days Bowl Filler. Okay. So this is really interesting. The pattern comes with the fabric and it's already printed. It's already printed. You get six pieces. Okay, let me hold it up a little closer so that you can see. The pattern is printed, or the fabric is printed. So you cut them apart, and you embellish those pieces. So on the first one that I tried, okay, so I embroidered the holly berries, the evergreen branch branches, the snowman's eyes, his buttons, his nose, and then you take pieces of felt and you cut those out and then they said to use an invisible stitch but I like the button stitch on this one so I did the button stitch on it but see how each one has different felt pieces one has a hat on the snowman one is the snowman the um there's a snow globe an ice skate okay so you just you just the work took me I think uh, about uh, pretty much just one day that was it <coughs> Per me. And um, then I, I put the chenille trim on the edge. Um, I think they say to use a little bit darker chenille trim, but I had this green, so I'm using this green. And then I backed it with this red fabric. And then it just sticks in a little bowl with some evergreen branches. And now that I have all my uh, Christmas boxes mailed, I can uh, do a little more stitching just for fun and uh, fill it, make making a few more bowl fillers. So you get six bowl fillers. I can't really, re I can't remember the price. Oops, sorry. It wasn't that expensive though. I, I want to say like twelve or thirteen dollars. Uh, anyway, it comes with the fabric already printed, and then you do the little bit of embellishment, and it's just so charming. I thought maybe I could add like a rusty jingle bell or a ribbon on some. Anyway really really adorable super fast i mean if you don't want to keep them <laughs> like me being <laughs> kind of greedy keeping them for myself <laughs> and you could make these and you could even make a little uh hook so that they could be ornament for uh, a friend and or stick this in the the dish with your cookies and give it to your neighbor and anyway i thought they were really adorable for six little ornaments i i love that again i love it <laughs> anyway I think you'll really enjoy it. It was super easy and you don't have to do, you know, all of the extra stitches. You can just do it the way you know how to do it. So anyway, I love that. That's, that is a good one. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have a thank you. I got a, uh, a random act of kindness in the mail. Okay. It came in this little teeny box, just this little box. Look how little. 
and I opened it up. Okay, it's a whole theme. Oh my gosh. She made this card. One of the viewers, her name's Cindy. She made this little card with acorns on it. Her husband made these, um, okay, I'll try to hold them up there. Made these uh, needle minders with a little acorn and a little bird. And they're wooden, but it's like laser cut or something really really charming that was really nice and then she made some little cookies that looked like acorns they were made out of some kind of like little peanut butter cookie and they had a little pretzel at the top and sprinkles and mr wright ate three of them and i might have eaten one of them <laughs> they're so good they were really good they were wrapped really sweet and cute and then she cross-stitched this acorn pillow. Look at the extra fancy stitches to make it kind of 3D. Her stitching is beautiful. And the little cap for the the acorn. And then she backed it in the, it, it kind of feels like wool, a uh, brown wool. It was just the most packed, jam-packed little package of goodness I think I've ever received. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Her stitches are just beautiful. Really tiny and even, and the handiwork is just exquisite. Thank you so much. And thanks to her husband, too, for making those needle minders. Isn't that neat that he they made those? Oh, it was just such a really lovely little acorn box of goodness. So thank you, Cindy. And your and your Mr. Wright, Carl. Thank you for all of the work that you did. You're both so talented. Wow. And I kind of was flabbergasted that you that you sent those to me. So I really appreciate it. I was stunned. I was quite surprised. It was a good surprise. Uh to get just to get a box in the mail for no reason. It it just kind of got me all blushy and hot and sweaty and happy and I, I can't really believe it. So thank you. Thank you. Genuine thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, I have a work in progress. Would you like to see my work in progress? All right. So it is the Noel Sampler by Brenda Gervais. And here we go. This is where, where I am on this project. All right, so I purchased the uh, the kit from Country Sampler in Wisconsin, and this fabric is 32 count tin roof. I got down there to one of the reindeer, so that makes me super happy. So jaunty and cute. I love that. That's adorable. And we already know that I already put the the date, so. The countdown has begun, so but now that my packages are all mailed, I, I promise to sit down and, and get a little more stitching done on this one. So that's a good thing. It's such a beautiful piece. The house is now done. All the bricks are laid. All the mortars in. The windows are done. <coughs> There's a little dog down there. I love that. That's adorable. Really, really a beautiful piece, so... I'm looking for a finish before December 31st, so that's for sure. That is for sure. Okay. Ooh, we're going to make a project. We're going to do a we're going to do a craft project in just a second. Let me talk about some new floss tube uh gals that I've been listening to. Um and then I'm going to then we're going to do a project together. Yeah. It it's super easy. You're going to love it. You are going to love it and it's not very much money and it's super quick and it's a huge bang for your buck. So we'll do that in just a second. Okay, um, all right, so I have some new floss tubers, floss tube makers that I've been watching. Uh, the first one is made, oh, and I'll link them all below um, so that you could go and, and find out what they're doing and, and see if it's to your fancy, I, I, your liking. I think you will. They're really great gals. Made by Michelle McGraw. She's from North Carolina. Uh, she has a great smile. Oh, I loved her spirit. And her stitching is really good. Really good. So that that's a new one to me. These, all four of these are new to me. So it makes me really happy. Uh, I think they've just started making floss tube. Or I think one had five or six. I don't know where I've been. I don't, I guess under some rock. So I don't know how I missed that. But okay, this one, uh, Hollis Hands 
creates. Her name is Christine, and she's from Texas. Ooh, I loved her happy heart. And uh, she has a variety of stitching. She has a kind and sweet spirit, beautiful smile. Okay, let's go check out Christine. You're going to love her. You're going to love her. Uh, the next one was Janet Jabber, and she's from Indiana. And, oh, she's interesting, happy. Oh, I loved her projects. I loved her smile. Uh, okay, I, I keep saying the same things over and over, but every single person that is sweet and kind and has a nice smile, I always, I'm just drawn to them. I'm drawn to that, their personality and their happiness and their goodness. So I, I just want to share it with you. Okay, and the last one uh, for today, uh, her channel is called Rolodex Stitches, and her name is Carla. And she's from the Midwest, but she lives in Japan with her uh, family right now, currently. She's funny and sparkly and sassy, and she's been stitching for two years. So we have four new uh, floss tube makers that I think that you will enjoy. Uh, turn on the sit down by your Christmas tree and turn on some floss tube and stitch away and relax and I think you'll you'll enjoy some some uh, new folks to the lineup so that's a good thing that's a really good thing I loved it I love I don't know how I missed some of some of them have five or six videos already I don't know what I've been doing I've been making Christmas presents what I've been doing okay want to do a craft okay everybody it's it's not too much money super easy you're gonna love the result Okay. Oh, of course. Okay. Look at my snowflake. Do you love my snowflake? I do. This is what I made it out of. Lunch sacks. These, there's 50 lunch sacks in this bag. I got them at uh, Walmart. 50 lunch sacks. It was in that section where you can buy Ziploc bags and paper towels or what have you. All right. So you got to get your, your bag. $1.98. So that's how much you've spent so far. You need some hot glue, but if you have just regular glue, you could do it. It's just going to take you a day because you need to let it dry. Um, and some scissors and a piece of yarn. Oh, and uh, a hole punch. There you go. That's it. <clears throat> All right. So you take one of the bags. You're going to take eight for each snowflake. Okay. So uh, eight for each snowflake. So we're going to, this is the flap that opens. And that's that little part. You don't want to get any glue past that little um, little half circle. So you're going to take some hot glue and run it down the center and down at the bottom. And then stick your next bag on top and do the exact same thing times eight. So you have eight paper bags. Okay. And then you want to cut your paper bag. Um, you want to cut the, the top corner, the other corner. And then you can cut whatever designs out that you want. What You can do super fancy. You can just do uh, pretty easy. You can add as much or as little as you want. You don't even have to cut any shapes out if you don't want to. Okay, so then you open up your... your all your pieces are glued together. And so you're going to open it up. And then you're going to glue this one part together right here. Just like we did before. You're just going to do the run of glue down and across the bottom. Okay. And then quickly you're going to glue those together. So see that there'll be two pieces. Okay. It's going to be kind of warm just for a second, just for like 30 seconds. Okay. And then you poke uh, just a little uh, hole through the top, one, one hole and tie your string. And all of a sudden you have this beautiful 3D gorgeous snowflake and you can hang them you you can make 10 or 12 for a couple dollars and hang them in your whole Sunday school class you can put them all in your entryway like I did you could put a few of them on top of your uh, kitchen window when you look out to, to when you're doing dishes you can see all the snowflakes so you can make them out of these lunch sacks this size or you can buy, um, like I saw some at the dollar store that are for parties and you can get the, it's a, it's like a little bit shorter and a little bit skinnier and it's for party goodies and you can uh, glue those together. You need a couple more than eight. I think you need 10 or 12. Um, but anyway, one package will do it and it's a dollar. So if you just want one snowflake, there you go. But anyway, for a dollar 98, next time you go to Walmart, 
or wherever you buy your lunch sacks, your self-standing lunch bags is what they're really called. Um, pick up a bag or two, or you could take them, take one over to the neighbors while you're um, passing out some cookies and, and they get to hang up a really beautiful lunch bag. Or if you have a snow day and your kids are stuck at home, you can help them. So instead of doing the hot glue, you can do uh, regular glue and then they can let it dry and they can uh, do it tomorrow. You know, it, just give it some time to dry. But um, if you help some of the older kids with the hot glue gun, we're really careful. Um, I think they would think it was super fun and easy. And this is the part that you get to cut all the pieces and stuff. I, I just loved making paper snow flakes when I was a little girl but I love these 3D it's so fun and so easy and it's like such a great craft okay there you go $1.98 you get to make a few snowflakes and um, maybe you could hang them at your husband's office you could there's just <laughs> you're welcome my little craft project for you today and even if you don't want to do anything else you could just make snowflakes and everybody would think that it was wonderful. Hang them over your dining room table off the light. It'll be, it'll be a good thing. Okay. What am I grateful for? I am grateful for an evening Santa parade. We got to go to the parade on Saturday night. It was really fun. And we had a string of, uh, we each got necklaces that were light up light bulbs. And um, lots of people had them. Everybody had on gloves and hats and mittens. And all the floats went by, all decorated in lights. And Santa was at the end of the parade. And Oh my gosh, they threw so much candy for all the children. It was, there's a lot of candy. Everybody was eating uh, candy canes and everyone was happy and maybe a little too happy. <laughs> it was really fun. It was, it was good. I was a little chilled when I was done. It was an um, hour and a half, so it wasn't too bad. And uh, we weren't too cold here in Washington. It was 50 degrees, so, uh, but it was still super fun. I'm super grateful we got to go. It was happy. It was really happy. Ooh, I'm grateful for, I have this in a Ziploc bag because I don't want it to get on anything. Um, you know how you, uh, the winter time when you go outside, even for a parade for an hour and a half, and you get a little bit of uh, dry skin or chap skin just from being outside. And this company is called Anne Marie, and this is the herbal facial oil. So you only need like, just like a half a drop and then you can put it, oh, and it works. Just put it on before you go to bed and tomorrow your, your face looks lovely. So, mm. 57 year old face this helps in the winter <laughs> it's really really good products oh it's it's natural it's great it's uh no chemicals and uh, ooh, you'll be you'll be super happy that you um that you purchased that just for you just for you okay oh i have a gift idea for you okay i made a lot of these okay everybody that's watching this if you're getting my family, I, maybe they probably aren't watching. Oh, maybe some are. Okay, if you want, don't want to be, if you want to be surprised, look away. But I made all these kitchen towels. So I bought some kitchen towels and washed them, bought some fabric and washed it. And then there's Rick Rack. So this one has red Rick Rack. Some had black. Um, I did, this has gnomes on it. I did chickens. I did Washington State fabric. So everyone got kitchen towels. And look at this wonderful gift idea. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Okay, so in our family, we use 10 pounds of fruits and vegetables every day. Yes, you heard that right. 10 pounds. We're a big juicing family. So we have to, we buy a lot of vegetables. And when you go to the grocery store, you know those plastic bags? You come home with, you know, 17 or 18 of those plastic bags and throw them all away. Okay, so this is called the garden sack. And it's just this really lightweight mesh. Look, you can take it to the grocery store and fill it with your oranges or apples or lemons or whatever vegetables. And then you use this and the, the grocery clerks, they just, they weigh it with this. It doesn't weigh anything, so you're not paying extra. And I think two of these were $6. So, some of my neighbors, I'm filling with some veg or some fruit, not vegetables. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Here's your zucchini. <laughs> no, I'm filling them with apples and oranges and some lemons and uh, some grapefruit. If I can find some pretty grapefruit. Um, and then uh, a kitchen towel to go with it. So, anyway, it's a really kind of an inexpensive gift. 
and they get two of these bags you can use to take to the grocery store. And that way it's kind of a, you get to fill it with some some fruits, uh, something happy for your, your friends or an exchange gift. If you have a certain amount of money, this is only $6 and then you can add some fruit to it. You don't have to make the kitchen towel, but if you add the kitchen towel, it's kind of a nice gift. I, I would like to get it. So anyway, uh, I think this is from the company called Stepping Stones and I think it was, I, I'm pretty sure it was $6 for two of them. And I know that might seem pricey and Years and years ago, I wouldn't have been able to afford that, but heck, it has a really beautiful drawstring, lots of space to put my vegetables in when I'm buying at the grocery store, and um, I think it's a great gift idea. I love this idea, so you might want to pick something other than Brussels sprouts or something to put in here, but, you know, something tasty and delicious. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be a good Christmas present. Okay, okay. Um, all right, so I sent out some Christmas cards. Well, I, our family did, of course. And then I sent out some Christmas cards uh, to some folks that I've met through Floss Tube. And y'all know me, and you know that I don't know if I can insert a picture. I'm going to try. Today, I don't have a lot to do. I'm going to pour another cappuccino, have a little cookie, and then I'm going to really try to insert a picture into this video. Somewhere, <laughs> beginning, the end, middle. I, I don't really know how that's going to happen. But I'm really going to give it a try. Let's say I'll work on it for like 30 minutes. Because after 30, I might get a little grumpy and that wouldn't be good. So I'm excited. I'm going to try. Honestly, try. However, plan B, if I don't get a picture put in there, this is your Christmas card I'm sending out to you right now. So pretend you're sitting down, drinking a cappuccino. You just got the mail. You opened a, an envelope. And this popped out. Merry Christmas! It says, so grateful, Daylene, Mr. Wright, and four lazy chickens. See, I even made them, oh, here, let's get the glare off. I even made them Christmas stockings out of old feed sacks. That's me. That's me holding ginger. Hold on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's ginger. Okay, so this is the Christmas card. It's snazzy. It has some evergreens on it. You can see my chicken coop. You can see three of their four stockings, and Ginger's right there. She's right there in my arms. She's saying, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. No, she's not. She's not. That. They haven't laid eggs since October 10th. Yes, I'm giving them lots of protein. They get oatmeal in the morning. They get worms on their oatmeal. I don't know. But anyway, here's your Christmas card. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. So if I can't insert the picture this is what it's what it looks like so thank you for pretending with me and putting up with my less than knowledgeable technology skills but anyway thanks for joining me today i really appreciate it uh, i want to say merry christmas just in case i don't do another one before christmas Ooh. I, I might. I, you know, it just could be fun. I could do one. Uh, we're headed to the ocean for a few days of uh, vacation for Mr. Wright's birthday. So I'm really grateful and happy for that. It's, uh, I could use it. I could use some walking in the sand and my bare feet, getting some grounding in, pretty much doing nothing. I, I, I'm kind of wishing for some storms to come in so we can sit in the hotel room and watch the storms come in. And, you know, we'll take the Scrabble game. We'll take some games and uh, get to eat some good food. And uh, maybe I'll take some stitching. Anyway, I'm going to be uh, relaxing for a couple days. And uh, I know Christmas time is hard for a lot of folks. And um, I'm just sending you all kinds of good wishes, all kinds of good wishes. And don't forget to take some time out for yourself and your and your uh, your Mr. Ride or Mrs. Ride or whatever. Um, I don't know. We got to take care of each other. We're in this together. So anyway, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. We'll chat soon. Bye bye.